Well, despite only playing the saxophone for a couple of years, 16-year-old James Griffith is already making a name for himself in the music world. And I recently sat down with the teen to talk his latest accomplishment. <laughs> joined with James Griffith, 16 years old, and he's just returned from New Brunswick with some new hardware. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. Thanks. So uh, let's get right into it. You're, you're a pretty incredible saxophone player, and uh, you placed third in the Woodwinds category at the 2018 National Music Festival, which was held in New Brunswick this year. So um, talk to me a little bit about that experience and what that was like, and how did you get there? Uh, so basically, uh, the National Festival is sort of the cumulative festival of Canada in which like basically all of the music festivals associated with the Federation of Canadian Music Festivals uh, is sort of associated with the National Festival. And so in order to actually participate in the National Festival, you need to compete at the local level all the way up to the national level. Okay, and so there was a few steps to get there. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then so you placed first which, uh, which allowed you to go to the national level, correct? Yes, so at, I placed first at the local festival, which allowed me to go to the provincial festival, and then I competed in the national class at the provincial festival, and I placed first there Great. in order to get the recommendation to go to the national festival. Wow, okay, and so you've been telling me you only started taking lessons how many years ago? Uh, since last year. Okay, so which is pretty incredible to have, I mean, third place and first place, like all over the place. So. What, uh, what drew you to the saxophone 10 years ago? Uh, well, it's on, honestly, it's just a great instrument. I remember <laughs> this might seem cheesy, but just seeing people on, on TV and movies playing the saxophone. I, I was originally drawn into jazz rather than okay. classical. And so I, I was just really interested into it. Um, so I, I really just started pursuing the jazz aspects of it. And through, through pursuing the jazz aspects of it, I encountered the classical end of it, which is sort of how I met Kim, uh, my saxophone teacher. And yeah. yeah, and you do that here locally at Three Lakeland? Yes, yeah, Three Lakeland College. Awesome. Yeah, I feel like uh, many people your age, especially just into last year, never mind pick up an instrument and they're good at it, but they go on to win awards, so that's pretty incredible. And you beat out, well, there were 71 people that uh, took part and there was different categories mm -hmm. there. So. Um, how was the pressure? How were you feeling once you were there? Uh, well, at first I felt really uh, sort of nervous and I, I was feeling like it was sort of getting to me, but uh, half, I, I don't know, like just part way through the festival before I was about to perform, I just felt my nerves sort of calm and I just felt at ease. I didn't really try and worry about it too much. and I. Yeah, it, it was just really sort of relaxing. And awesome. Yeah, yeah. So what's your favorite part about getting on stage and performing at uh, these big scale competitions? Uh, well, I, I think my favorite part is just playing and just I expressing myself through the saxophone and through the music. And I feel like uh, that's just my favorite part of performing and music in general. Yeah. I'd and say. so what's next for you? Do you have any more competitions on the horizon? Uh, well. Not, not at the moment currently, but I am planning to uh, participate in what's known as the Canadian Music Competitions. So it's sort of like the National Festival, it's just, uh, it's not associated with the Federation of Canadian Music Festivals. Great. Yeah. And is this uh, something you foresee yourself pursuing for many years to come? Yes, yeah, I, I plan to uh, pursue music well into university. and. Yeah, I'm, I'm currently deciding on whether I want to do performance or music education. Wow. Yeah. Definitely a lot of options for you. Um, I definitely want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, <laughs> it's so great, and we'll definitely keep our eye on you as you continue to pursue uh, your amazing musical journey. Thank you. Yes, well, thank you for having me.